Are you tired of seeing low GPU usage and sudden FPS drops in your games? What if I told you the real fix isn't upgrading your graphics card, but unlocking hidden VRAM and GPU performance settings buried inside Windows? In this video, I'll show you step by step how to maximize your GPU, fix VRAM limits, and get smoother, more consistent FPS. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, because these tweaks will completely change your gaming experience. So guys, in the first step, we focus purely on fixing low GPU usage and removing hidden VRAM limits inside Windows that can severely reduce FPS. These limits often stop your graphics card from being fully utilized, leading to stutters, unstable frame times, and poor performance even on high-end GPUs. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing Registry Editor, and launching it with Administrator Access. Once it opens, paste the registry path provided in the description into the address bar at the top, and press enter to jump directly to the GPU memory management section. Inside this location, we will create or edit a few DWRD 32-bit values that directly control GPU timeouts, VRAM behavior, and scheduling efficiency. If any value does not exist, right-click on an empty space, select New, choose DWRD 32-bit value, and name it exactly as mentioned. First, create or modify TDR delay and set its value to 10. This increases the GPU timeout threshold, preventing Windows from resetting the graphics driver during heavy VRAM usage. This helps eliminate sudden FPS drops, stuttering, black screens, and driver crashes that occur when the GPU is under load. Next, create or edit HWSCH mode and set it to 2. This enables hardware-accelerated GPU scheduling, allowing the GPU to manage its own workload and VRAM more efficiently, instead of being limited by the CPU. When supported, this improves GPU usage, smooths frame pacing, reduces latency, and results in more consistent FPS. After that, create or modify disable preemption and set its value to 1. This reduces aggressive GPU task interruptions from Windows, helping keep VRAM allocation stable and minimizing micro stutters caused by constant task switching in demanding games. Once all values are set, close the registry editor and restart your PC. This restart allows Windows to rebuild GPU scheduling and VRAM management using the new configuration. If you ever want to revert these changes, simply delete the created values or set them back to zero. This optimization directly addresses low GPU usage, fixes VRAM limits, and helps boost FPS without sacrificing visual quality. All right, guys, now we push GPU performance even further by using a lightweight but powerful optimization pack. You can download it with just one click. The link is in the description. After the download finishes, extract the folder and open it. First, go into the GPU Tweaks folder and locate the file called Gaming Performance Registry. Double-click this file, click Yes when prompted, then press OK to apply the changes. This registry tweak removes unnecessary GPU restrictions, improves VRAM allocation behavior, and helps your GPU maintain higher and more consistent usage in games. Inside the same folder, you will see two optimization presets labeled Low Medium Optimization and Medium High Optimization. Choose the preset that matches your hardware level. If you are on a budget or mid-range system, apply Low Medium Optimization. If you have a more powerful or high-end GPU, apply Medium High Optimization. Simply double-click the correct file and confirm the changes. Next, open the GPU Thread Tweaks folder. Here, you will find separate registry files optimized for different GPU brands, including AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA. Select the file that matches your graphics card. For example, if you are using an NVIDIA GPU, apply the NVIDIA Thread optimization file. Double-click it, confirm the prompts by pressing Yes, then click OK. These thread-level optimizations reduce driver overhead, improve GPU task handling, and help stabilize frame times, which directly improves FPS consistency and GPU utilization during gameplay. Now, move back to the Tools folder and open the Throttle app directory. Launch the Throttle Stop application. Once it opens, you will see several preset profiles such as Performance, Game, Internet, and Battery. Select the game profile as it is designed to prioritize performance and reduce power-related limits that can indirectly lower GPU usage. After that, enable the High Performance option and keep the power plan set to High Performance. This ensures your system delivers full processing power during gaming, helping your GPU maintain stable usage without sudden drops. 
Next, locate the options called Clock Mod, Set Multiplier, and Speed Shift. Leave these untouched. Instead, focus on disabling Turbo and making sure it is enabled. Disabling Turbo helps prevent sudden CPU temperature spikes that can cause thermal throttling. When the CPU throttles, GPU usage often drops as well, so this step helps keep GPU performance stable. Once everything is set, click Turn On, then press Save to apply the configuration permanently. Throttle Stop will now run quietly in the background and automatically apply your gaming profile on every boot. Finally, return to the Tools folder and open the MSI Mode Utility folder. Right-click the executable and select Run as Administrator. When the utility opens, find your GPU in the device list. Enable the MSI checkbox next to it and set the priority option to High. This enables Windows to assign your graphics card a higher interrupt priority, thereby improving responsiveness and reducing latency between the GPU and the system. Click Apply to finalise the changes. These tweaks together help eliminate low GPU usage, stabilise VRAM performance and push higher, more consistent FPS in games. Now guys, if you're facing lag, ping spikes or unstable connections in your online games, the Gear Up Booster is the perfect tool to fix those issues. Here is how to use it. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost – Roblox, Fortnite or any game. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one, or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Alright guys, now we will disable Windows Power Throttling. Power Throttling can silently limit system performance in the background, which often causes GPU usage to drop and FPS to fluctuate during gameplay, even when temperatures and usage look normal. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing Group Policy Editor, and clicking Edit Group Policy from the results. Once the Group Policy Editor opens, navigate to Computer Configuration, then go into Administrative Templates, select System, and then open Power Management. Inside this section, locate the policy named Turn Off Power Throttling. Double-click Turn Off Power Throttling to open it. Set the policy to Enabled, then click Apply and press OK. Enabling this policy completely disables Windows power throttling behavior at the system level, allowing your CPU and GPU to maintain consistent performance without being limited by background power saving rules. This helps your GPU stay properly utilized during gaming and prevents sudden FPS drops caused by Windows dynamically lowering performance. So guys, the next crucial step is adjusting your GPU control panel settings. Depending on your system, you will be using either the NVIDIA Control Panel, AMD Radeon Settings, or Intel Graphics Command Center. Start by opening the Control Panel that matches your GPU. Then navigate to the section labeled 3D Settings, 3D Image Settings, or Gaming Settings. This is where performance-focused options are located. Inside this menu, find the option called Power Management Mode. Open the drop-down and set it to Prefer Maximum Performance. This ensures your GPU maintains higher clock speeds during gameplay, instead of downclocking in lighter scenes, which is a common cause of low GPU utilization and sudden FPS drops. Next, locate the setting named Low Latency Mode, or a similar option, depending on your GPU brand, and switch it to Ultra. Enabling Ultra Low Latency reduces the time between your inputs and what appears on screen, making gameplay feel far more responsive. This is particularly beneficial in shooters, racing, and other fast-paced games where every millisecond counts. Once both settings are configured, click Apply to save your changes. 
These control panel tweaks help your GPU stay fully active, stabilize frame rates, and reduce input lag, giving your game smoother and more consistent performance. And that's it guys! If these tweaks helped boost your FPS, smash the like button and subscribe for more game-changing PC performance tips.